Hey everyone, this is Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC, and this is my ride review of the Liat 6.5 neck brace. All right, everybody, just want to give you a quick ride review on the 6.5 neck brace coming from Liat. Now, keep in mind, this is the 6.5. They also have the 5.5. They're identical neck braces. The 6.5 is just a carbon fiber chassis. We have a product spotlight where I talk about all the details, all the bullet points of this neck brace. So watch that to learn all the technical aspects. But today, I just want to give a quick review on how the neck brace performs and also talk a little bit about fitment and kind of what I notice out there riding. So I know in the world of neck braces, it's kind of a lot of controversy, a lot of people talking about how some riders think that they're awesome. You know, you see a lot of top level pros wearing this, but there's also a lot of riders who don't think they work at all and you shouldn't wear them. So I just say go with your heart. If you feel like a neck brace does what it's supposed to do and you feel like it's gonna help protect you, then by all means, go get yourself a neck brace. But I think with a lot of riders that are considering a neck brace, probably one of the biggest, I would say, things that get in the way of making that, pulling the trigger and buying one is, you know, how's it gonna affect their range of motion when they're out riding on the track. So give you a little background, background history on this. I was riding not too long ago at a track. I had a pretty good crash and I injured my neck. It was pretty sore for a while and I wasn't quite, you know, so after I had that neck injury, I had that question. If I'd been wearing a neck brace, would I have this neck injury at all? Or, you know, maybe if I did still have the neck injury, would it be as severe as it was? So it got me thinking, you know what? I wanna wear a couple neck braces and just try them out. So I've had this 6.5 now for a little while, put a lot of time with it. And I can tell you that first impression, yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to, just like anything new that you're gonna be wearing. But as far as range of motion goes when you're wearing a neck brace, what's great about them is the 6.5 and you know neck braces from other companies, they've made them nice and low profile, they're super comfortable, lightweight. And once you have it on and you get used to the feeling of, of you wearing it, as far as range of motion goes when I'm riding, I hardly notice it. There's only a few instances where the back of the neck brace comes up and kind of hits the back of my helmet. That's the only time that I notice that I'm actually wearing the neck brace. Other than that, it doesn't impede me in whatsoever. And I've gotten to the point now where when I don't ride with it, I almost feel like I'm missing something important that I'm supposed to be wearing. So I've become a big fan of them. Now with the 6.5, a couple things that I like about this is one, you have a lot of adjustability. So make sure any neck brace you buy, use the sizing guide and take some time to get the adjustment right. So that way it's gonna be fitting you properly. And then once you have it fitted correctly, the way that I've been wearing it is with these straps. So they include these straps. Um, you can wear these. I know some riders will wear a neck brace without them. I don't like that. I feel like the neck brace is too loose. It floats around too much. So I've been wearing the straps that come included. And as far as nitpicks are concerns, the only things that you know I can really pick apart is one, you gotta be cautious if you wear a roost deflector, you gotta make sure it's gonna be compatible with the Liat. Obviously, if you wear a Liat roost deflector, you're gonna be good to go because they make sure all the roost guards are compatible with this. And then the only other thing that I can really pick apart is I'm not the biggest fan of the strap system just because you have to wear it over top of your jersey or your roost deflector. It's not really something you can wear underneath your jersey. So I prefer to have the straps going underneath the jersey if possible. So with these, you don't really have that ability. I guess you could, but for me, I'd probably have to cut little slits in my jersey to have these come through. So not the biggest fan of that, but as far as the overall fit and comfort, I think it's really good. Like I said, lots of adjustability, so the fitment is good. It's super low profile, so it doesn't, you know, inhibit any range of motion when I'm out riding. And you know, the whole purpose of a neck brace is if you have a crash, is to allow that the energy, those forces from the head and the neck of the rider to be transferred more throughout the body. So it just helps limit, you know, the possibility of having a head or a neck injury. So if you believe in the idea and you like the idea of wearing a neck brace, but your real concern is, you know, is it gonna limit my range of motion? Am I gonna notice it? Is it gonna bug me when I'm out riding? My opinion is no. I don't think you're gonna have to worry about that whatsoever. Just make sure, obviously, you get the right fitment. If you guys have any other questions about these or about this neck brace, leave your thoughts, your comments, your questions below. We'll get those answered for you. And to pick one up, it's real simple. You can just click on the link at the end of this video. Remember guys, watch that product spotlight. If you have questions, we have a great buyer's guide where I talk about all the neck braces that we offer at Rocky Mountain. So if you're looking to pull the trigger but you're not quite sure which one you wanna get, watch that guide. That should give you a good starting point. And we do have our fit guarantee, so if you buy a neck brace, if you're not happy with size or fitment, send it back, brand new unused condition, and we will give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange, just to make sure you get the size and the fitment that you're gonna want. Remember guys, orders over 75 bucks ship free. For you moms and dads, grandmas, grandpas out there, they do make youth neck braces as well, so you can buy a neck brace for the youth riders also. And get subscribed to our YouTube channel, stay up to date on the latest gear guides, product reviews, how-to videos that we're constantly filming. I'm Chase, we'll see you on the trails.